This experiment can be done right in your classroom. We're going to take the micro bits that are in every single school and we're going to learn how to easily code them to track the amount of light during the total eclipse. These micro bits have light sensors in them that can track the amount of light coming into it. So during the eclipse, when it's supposed to get dark, we can use them to track data and see what that looks like later. So let's follow a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do that. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to www.makecode.com. All the resources are in the science portal if you need review on how to use a microbit or how to download. When you get here, you're going to want to click on the microbit. And then, because there's nothing here, make sure you sign in. This is going to take you to all your saved programs that you've worked on before. Let's click on New Project and give it a name. On the home screen, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this forever block. Now, what I like to do whenever I do a microbit program is I like to put a basic icon in the start block. You can change it to whatever you want, but this just means when you download to the real physical microbit, that icon should show up automatically so you know it's kind of like a pre-debugging to make sure the download worked properly. Now, we're going to do this experiment in two different ways. The first one's going to be by a button click. So let's go to our inputs, and we're just going to grab the on button A. Now we want to show how much light is being emitted by whatever source we have into our micro bit. So when we go into the basic block, we want to show the number. We're going to put that inside the A, and then we're going to use the input block of light level. And drop it right in when there's a zero. Now with the light level, a microbit measures light from a level of zero to 255. Zero meaning it's really dark, where 255 means it's extremely bright. So anywhere in between will be your measurement of light. Now if I try out my virtual microbit, if I go click the A button here, you'll see that it's showing 128, and that's kind of the mid-range of the light level. You can play around with that light level by clicking and holding your button and moving this little symbol here, which represents the light for the microbit, just for the virtual. And if I click A, I should have 89, and there it is. Now, that's how you would do this manually, but that means you would have to be outside, pushing the button, and reading that. Well, let's take that step out. We're just going to move this little block out of the way, and we're going to throw away the press A in the garbage. We're now going to go to a loop. Let's grab the loop, and we're going to grab this one that says every 500 milliseconds. Place that up there, and then put the show number in the light level. Now, with the time management, this is every 500 milliseconds. That's super fast. That's only half a second. So you can go in and hit the drop arrow, and you can actually change your timing. So if you want to change it to one minute, it wouldn't show it until every other minute. For this experiment here, we might want to change it to maybe 10 seconds. So if one second is 1,000, that means 10 seconds will be 10,000. So once you change it, the micro bit will kick in right away. So it's 128 right now, and if I was moving this around and just waiting, There you can see, it's going to change the light level every 10 seconds, so if I change that this way, it would change it again. So what we're going to do now is we're going to download this to your micro bit. If this is the first time downloading, this is the process you're going to go through. Once you plug in your micro bit with the USB, you can go down here, don't click download, first we have to connect it. So click on the three little dots, hit connect device, next, pair, Make sure you click on the name first, and then you click connect. Give it a second. And now you are connected. So we'll hit done. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to change this to five seconds, just so you can see when I download this to the micro bit, that when we flip over to the physical one, you can see it go every five seconds. Now that we're all connected, our code is good. We're going to click the download button. It'll download, and now we're going to flip over to the physical one so you can see what that looks like. Here's the physical micro bit. Now, you can have this either set up with the battery pack or USB power, but obviously when you're outside, you're going to be using the battery pack. So here you can see it's measuring a light level of zero, but as I bring in a flashlight closer to it, you're going to notice that it will 
change what it's reading. So that was 169. If I move my flashlight a little bit more and more, you'll always see a different reading. And as I move it away, it's going to change up. So right now it's about 82. If I take that away, it should register zero again because I'm in the dark. So that's how you can make a light sensor during the solar eclipse. We're going to take it one step further with the next tutorial though, and we're going to actually record all the data. So you don't have to actually be writing down the light levels. It'll record it all for you.